this out of NBNA's book, if that's the full name, and doing um, my top 10 Transformers. Um, to further mimic his style, um, I'm also going to be focusing only on the toys and not the characters, because, it, to be honest, it did make my decision a lot easier. So, mine will span all my collection, all my toys that I've got. Um, there are a couple of categories that don't make it in, but it was a tough decision, and I might also do a video of nearly, not quite, unlucky sort of toys that might have got in on another day. Um, so, without further ado, let us go to number 10. Okay, so I'm back with um, Superion in his combined bot mode, and yes, I know this guy has problems. I know a lot of people don't like him. I know his legs are a bitch to put on, and that his hands and feet aren't very popular. And this little thing here that just doesn't stay in place. I mean, every time I look at this guy in his combined mode, I'm like that, just hoping that it'll stay in place, praying, but it never does. But, this guy, who I only bought on Tuesday, was, he is, my first proper combiner. I mean, granted, I've only been collecting properly for two years now, but this is my first proper combiner, and I love it. I really do. It was 29 quid, reasonable price for a Gestalt, Gestalt whatever you want to call it, Stolt. Um, still open. And I just... I think the universal one was about 45, 50 quid, and it's exactly the same, just with a different box. So yeah, and um, he has his faults, but I love it. I mean, one thing I will say about this guy, I'm going to do a proper review that will be up on Wednesday. Um, the f Energon hands and feet don't actually seem to me that out of place in the movie line when you consider devastated bollocks and the fucking Energon axes that come out all the time and shit. It doesn't look so, it doesn't seem so incongruous within the Revenge of the Fallen toy line. That's one thing I will say in his defence. But this is my first combiner. I love it. I think he's great. But he does have his faults and that's why he makes it at number 10. Um, I'm sure there's got to be something else good to say. I like the head sculpt. And the light piping, I mean, if you look from that angle, and if there was any light, it would work. Um, I do like it. I do and I like the switching that I notice it stands better with these feet. Um, I always keep them with these feet most of the time. And, yeah, they could have done a different, one of these different and one of those different instead of having them drones, but it is the Energon mould and the other four were drones I think in Energon and Silverbolt or whatever they called him then was the only sentient trans robot of the five which is fair enough I suppose, but they could have done, I think so that's Dr. Prime, they could have done more of an effort with the um, Revenge of the Fallen version but I like it I just it's enough to get into my top ten just being my first ever combiner. I don't include the Millennium Falcon in that. And my two thirds of Tricredicus. Because obviously I ain't got the full thing. Um, yep, so this is Desiris Prime with number 10 on my Transformers toy top 10. See you for number 9. <laughs> 